Hey, what it is, man? What up, Louis? Checking in with X-Ray Visions. We on they neck, can't let up. Hit it up, block, it's a wet up. Hey, checking in. We got what up, Louis, in the building. We in Hopkins, South Louis? Carolina. Turn up SC, man. So, Louis, what's your background with music? Like, how you get in on the music side of this? I used to play drums, you feel me? Like, when I was like six, I started playing drums. I got on bed, like, when I was in, like, High school, well, I'm gonna say middle school. Like, I was, I was in middle school, though, like on a high school band type shit. Then I started playing piano when I was like 12. But I ain't never really messed with the whole piano thing. But I just know, like, the basic shit. Word. So, how your era of music? How do you make beats? You, you listen, you go by tempo, or you got a, just a certain feel for it, like. Religion, how I feel, you feel me? Sometimes, if I'm trying to make something specific, I try to, like, you know, but most of the time, just how I feel. Mm. So, you weren't making beats or doing music, what you'll be doing? I'll probably still be like an um, entrepreneur. Because, shit, that job shit is cool to certain people, but it's like to be well off. All right, where you from, man? Word. So what's going on in Hopkins? What's going on in your city? What's going on in Hopkins, man? But really, it's just niggas getting money. Too. Yeah, shit like that. Same like every city. So how? What's your What's your point of view on the new changes happening in the city with COVID and everything, like the violence, like the police brutality? There's a lot going on in Columbia. Besides all the music, how do you cope with everything going on in your city? Shit, but really, bro, I just keep on me. But like, as far as that police shit, man, they already know that shit. Man, that shit, what twelve? That shit ain't right. What that shit like? They already know. But we ain't we in that state, so shit. That ain't nothing we ain't used to. You feel me? That bad as that shit, son. All the violence, shit. I ain't gonna lie, but that shit had got like a little crazy, like. I just feel like shit, it's life at the end of the day. Like, that shit gonna happen regardless. Like, regardless. All right, who who you feel like inspired you to make beats or do music? Like, what's your inspiration? Mm. Music. I mean... I just, I could really just say probably just listen to music, period. Because... And like that shit, just, that shit made me want to do music. Just I don't know. That shit just made me want to do music for some reason. But beat wise, I probably say like once I started like this, like looking up producers and shit. I probably say like Zaytoven and Jazzy Faye. That's really who was, like inspired me. And Kanye. I used to look at a lot of Kanye videos and I was like trying to make beats and shit. So who you feel like the major producers in your city? Major. Like who making a big impact on the community doing what they do in your city right now? I say, I could say, I feel like Super Mario made a mark, you feel me? Chico Hard definitely made a mark, like, he from my area. Um, Nico and Jit, for sure. Uh, they ain't from my area, but like T TNT and, um, and Taj, like, they, they basically mixed up something. Them boys hard, too. 
All right, who your top five producers in your city and then in your state? Um, I know that's a hard question right there. Okay. I see. I ain't gonna lie, I gotta say my nigga Doug. I fuck with Doug, you know what I'm saying? You already know who got shit. Shout out to Doug, Doug shit. Yeah, Doug. Um. Shit, my city. Shit, I had to say Nico, you feel me? Um. Oh, Caleb. Yeah, Caleb hard too. Jit. Shit, I get other go ahead sit first, you feel me? I don't, I don't I don't really know a lot of other producers, you feel me? But the ones I do know for yeah. you. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm tripping, gang. That list gotta be long. <laughs> Fuck, shout out to everybody. Fuck. Right, bro, yeah. She'll go hard, you know what I'm saying, JC. Yeah, I'm fucking, I'm fucking with them. State wise. Shit, Super Mario. Um that who else like? I'm trying to think. Another producer from here. Oh, um Damn. It's another producer, but I can't think of his name. But he hard, I went to school, bro. But I be hearing his name a lot. I went to school from the limb. But I be hearing his name a lot. Of shit. I just can't think of his name right now. But he hard, though. Um, yeah. That, that's a hard question. All right, so I right, driving through Hopkins, going through your playlist. What song would you play right now? Right now, like local artists from your city. Local artists. What song, like right now, would you play right now? No matter how old it is. I go, I'm gonna ride some Mister Style song. Yeah, that shit ride. Yeah, that shit ride. What mixtape that on? Uh, they're real. I think they're like Barcelona or something. Yeah, he slid on that shit. <sighs> who else? Who else? Um, that graduated like that's in your time, like from Lil Richard. That's how they doing their thing right now. Mm -hmm. Talking about like you said for my time, like my like my age and type shit. Like whoever you went to school with. I know Marcus Edmund, um, bro, he used to play football. He did went to um, Clemson. He went to Clemson, then I think he went to goddamn um, the Chargers for a little bit. No, I ain't know that. You went to San Diego? Yeah, yeah. I just asked about, bro. Uh, he's not playing with us. I know, I know, um, I know one of the twins, they do, they a chef. They really, I heard they real, real successful with that shit right now, too. Uh -huh. Crazy shit, cooking shit. What Alright. So you make good grades in school? Yeah, it was straight. It was straight. Yeah. You know what uh percentage you graduated in? Percentage what you mean? Like GPA. Like what? Like you know, like top thirty students, top fifty, top one hundred. You ain't pay that shit no attention. <laughs> what type of what type of kid you was in school? Shit, I, I ain't gonna lie, shit. I said to myself kinda of, I had like, you know, in the class, you know, like, I had certain things I like, pulled with like certain I pulled with. Alright, you, you ain't never get in, really get in trouble like that? If I did get in trouble, it was like some pity shit, like like some pity shit. It wasn't our time. How was things at home, your parents, your family? Shit. How many siblings you got? I got a sister. Well, um, she stayed with her mom. And uh, my father. Oh, so you're, you your mama only child? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you was spoiled. 
Kyler, I wouldn't say it, but Kyler, like, like, you know, um, um, not money wise, but like, uh, love wise, what we love for sure. Word. So you think you was a good kid or a bad kid? How you think your mama would describe you as a good kid or a bad kid? Probably a hit. Where you see yourself in five years? So what you doing to working towards that? What you doing to contribute to that? See, right now I got a group. Me and Doug, me and Doug, she, you know what I'm saying? We can start a few group guys. And that's just basically like a, um, right now it's just a group. But eventually we can turn into a very few. And like our own artists. And what all, what y'all gonna do? You said what we gonna do? Yeah. See? Like what all what all the group consists of? Oh, uh, right now it's a producer. We got a uh, we got an artist too. We got an artist. You know what I'm saying? So that's where the label part come in and shit. It's uh three producers right now. Four, four. My bad, four. Uh, if you had one artist you can collab with in the world right now, who would it be? Artist to collab with. Shit, J. Cole, fuck it. Yeah. You right. So, boom. Do you rap? Can you rap? Yeah, I guess you just said that. You rap? You got songs out? You done made a few songs? Like that old as hell. Like when I was in school, like shit, like high school, new school, or high school. But I do got some new shit recorded, but I just ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't dropped it yet. Yeah, you waiting on a drop that? What you waiting on? Shit, bro. I don't know what I'm waiting on. <laughs> I don't know what I'm waiting on. I might get some shit up soon. I'm gonna tell Word. So how you get your name, Louie? What up, Louie? Um, Where that come from? All right, so she... Louis came from like I when I used to like when I used to like when I was trying to be a rapper type of shit like in school I, like I was some futuristic shit so I just went to Louis to get me and then I took I took the Jetson from the Jetsons so I was Louis Jetson so goddamn when I started making beats um I went by Beats by Louis and then probably like. Like 2016, 17 type shit. Young Nick, you know what I'm saying? I'm really broke. He had get my tag. He was like, What up, Lou? You a fool for this one? So I just took, you know what I'm saying? What up, Lou? What up, Lou? Ever since. Yeah, long live Nick, man. Yeah. How close you and Nick was? Oh, man, that was my, that was, that was broke. I forward, but like, we had locked in, like, I'm trying to think, we had locked in maybe like 2015, 16, type shit, maybe 14. No, nah, it was 15, cause that when I came back. We locked in like 2015. I was like, I, I heard some shit by him, I was like, damn, it'd be hard. So I had pulled up on him one night and I cooked up on him. And shit, I was like, we just rocking with each other ever since. How long you know? Since 2015. Yeah. I mean, I've been knowing me, down with me since. You've been legit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We used to play basketball, Lower Park days. Him hey, and his brother, Dante. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Them boys are going to be basketball stars, really. I mean, yeah, when he was I mean, at, ball, I mean yeah. when he was working at B12, I remember mean, the day he quit, so I'm like, open my own studio. Yeah, but he was telling me about that, like, oh, before he get out of he was telling me about it, bro. Like, I used to, I was a rhymer, but he was telling me, like, yeah, bro, I'm about to do this, bro. I remember that shit, man. You know, he already a young man, bro. He already a legend, bro. He was the only nigga in our city to do that shit, like, you feel me? Yeah, he was on the studio. He was on the studio. 
A lot of niggas wasn't doing it like that. Yeah. I wish you would've kept Niggas not doing it like that, bro. <laughs> niggas is old as hell, still trying to do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? You smoking out of the woods? I smoke on entourage. Entourage? Yeah. What? Yeah. Right. You know where them entourages? Shit. I used to fuck with the blunt beers, but shit. They was. When I started smoking these, I'm like, oh yeah, these shit way better. So, I'm even on. I don't know about them on myself. I'm gonna fuck with the blunt beers. Oh god. I be having to cut my shit every time. Man, it be like a little bit of wood. So what what the nightlife look like in your city? Where you go at the party? Mm, that's so cool. See, it's it's really a couple spots like I just went to this um shit called Champions on the Roof. It's a new shit I think. With the old Michael B show, you feel me? I went there, see. It's a lot of places though, like if I put it on money beach, you get five dollars. I mean, I, you get five points, you get got down the Vista, Flatfield 2, the street club. I think we got a, a couple other street clubs around here. All right. So what makes you different from other producers in the, in this game? Shit, I feel like I got my own style. Fixed affordable tuition. No surprises. Like, what you going to bring? Like, what, what, what you feel like you can bring to the beat game? Shit, just... Um, like really just like the reason now is like style, like new style, you feel me? Cause everybody I feel like a lot of niggas be trying to sound like be trying to sound like other people. We, but really it's just like ain't nothing wrong with that, but you gotta make it your own at the end of the day. You gotta find some originality in it. Yeah. So you have one message to your audience or whoever is your subscribers or your buyers. What would you tell them? My buyers? Yeah. Or people who even look up to you trying to make beats? Um, I just say shit. Oh, I, yeah, I just say shit. Stay focused and like, stay focused. Like, Let me rephrase that. What, what message do you have for upcoming beat makers and producers? Oh, yeah, just, just stay focused and um, Really stay working. Shit, that shit don't come. And don't, don't, don't be negative. Like, you feel me? That shit ain't moving right now. Cause that shit can, like, change. Literally, literally overnight. You feel me? Just stay focused, stay working. <laughs> Alright, who you feel like the best? Number one producer in South Carolina right now. Jetson. Yeah, yeah, he hot. Jit. He hot. Right now, like you talking about like right now. Yeah. Yeah, Jetson, he hot. Alright, who you feel like in the city that ain't that ain't mainstream yet? What are you talking about, like, um, artist wise? That's what I produce. Well, I feel like I ain't gonna see that hard. Mm -hmm. um, I fuck with Lido. Carlito and Lido. Um, Lit Boy. Oh, Lit Boy? Yeah, I'm talking about Lido. My bad. Bino. Yeah, Lit Boy. Yeah, um. Bino, shout out to Bino, man. Shout out to Lit Boy, man. Shit. Definitely shout out to Luke Gods. There's a couple other, like, if I ain't name them, my apologies. It's just, I'm high right now. <laughs> but it's, it's definitely a couple more, so. Word. It's a lot of people I used to know this. You know, they, could, they could be doing great thing right now, though. So what you feel like you lacking at getting your beats out there, getting paid, or getting exposure? See, what you think I'm lacking? Yeah. What you think your flaws is? Shit, I don't know. 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 I don't know
Um, really? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't like to go a lot of places. Like, I don't like to go a lot of places. That's, oh, you, my, that's my biggest flaw. When well, you got to get out. Yeah, but like when I do get out, I be, I be networking and shit, bro. I don't like to go. I don't like to go a lot of places. So what you feel like your weakness and your strength making beats? Mm, my weakness. Um, shit, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't really, I don't really feel like I got a weakness. I just feel like I can get better at like my abilities and shit. You feel me? I don't think that's a weakness though. Cause them shit still, it still be it. Matter of fact, nah, let me let me go back. My weeks and I'm I'm on my weakness, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real. I'll probably say like the mixing and shit sometimes. Cause that shit be kinda tricky to a nigga. Mixing the master? Yeah. I'll be like I've been doing this shit for a minute, but I still be learning that as I go, cause it's still like you feel me. Music be changing every day, so it's like shit. Yeah, you right about that. I feel like my strong point would probably be like my drums and shit. And my melodies. And this is what you said. So you got good 808s? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where you, where you be shopping at? I see you got the gear. To my clothes. Mm -hmm. I, know, I be fucking around with the malls. But I, be, I also be fucking around with the um, with like the local brands like Mint Star. No vacuum, you feel me? I got this shit on right now. Who made that? No vacuum. That's that name? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is no vacuum on, on, on IG? You feel me? I might just tap in with them. Yeah, yeah. I got the red in. Oh, I know the vibes. So, when you feel like. So, what made you feel like, all right, boom? This what I'ma do, and this what I'm sticking to. Like, at what point in your life you was like, all right, shit, I can't do nothing else. This what I'ma do to make it out. Really? <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest, I made that decision, like, really. I'm gonna say a couple years back, you feel me? I really made that decision a couple years back. When I started working at B12, to be exact. That's when I knew I could like really make money from it for real, for real. Word. How you like working at B12? Shout out to Mo. Shout out to him. It was cool, you feel me? It was cool. It gave me a good experience and certain shit. Yeah, man. Big Mo will teach you a lot. So, so where you working at now? Like, so I. <coughs> <coughs> So how you getting by now with the beats? Like how's business? Oh yeah, everything good. It's still growing. <clears throat> I say it's still growing, but it's still good at the same time. You think it could be better? Hey, yeah, always, always. So you ain't comfortable where you at right now? Nah, I don't think I never be comfortable. Like, you feel me? All right. You don't ever want to get comfortable. That's how I see it. Facts. Favorite rapper? Favorite rapper? She's J. Cole. J. Cole. Yeah. And why he your favorite rapper? Because it's like, when I had listened to that Friday night, bro. It's just like, I don't feel like nobody was on that shit. Like, when, when he was on it, you feel me? And the way he was just coming with the shit, that shit was just hard. And he made beats too, so it's like. No. Yeah, bro, produced too. So it's like, that shit hard. Imagine with Jake working with J. Cole. What you think that experience would be like? That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. You follow him on Instagram? Yeah. You ever you ever hear him in his inbox? Nah, I ain't gonna get inbox. Some of the people be answering back. I ain't gonna lie, but I feel like I feel like when it comes to shit like that, you gotta see him in person. I'll be talking to a few people, I ain't gonna care. But uh, yeah, I had met him in person though. I like when it, I I'd rather do it in person just so I can make a better impression rather than being online type shit. But I know that shit possible though. Like some people do be right back. You know, yeah, man.
So how many beats can you make in a day? How can I, how many can I make? I'll probably say like 20 or more. 20? Like if I really like... What's your goal? What's my goal? In a day. My goal in a day? At least, at least 10. At least 10, like... Okay, what's your goal to selling? How many you you plan on selling in a day? Selling in a day? At least three or more. And even if I get one, I make it I make it worth it, you feel me? But at least three or more. Do people ever come pull up on you and ask you to like cook up on them from scratch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like how you how good like how fast could you cook up <clears throat> just off somebody vibe? She really like 10 to 20 minutes. All right, that's dope. Yeah, it don't take long, like, cause once the vibe do, she, it's just, you feel me? It ain't, it ain't too hard for me. <coughs> it's cold. So what's your favorite project so far? And like who you who you work with on it? Mm, I ain't gonna lie, but I can't just say just one. But I'm gonna name like just a couple. What's your biggest project right now? Oh, the biggest. Um, I probably say um that's that song I did with um good with the set and Vino, R.P. <coughs> I probably say that's the biggest one. It did numbers. How many views it got? Mm, it's a good bit. I can't even remember. So I just get over it. Too, oh yeah, that's big. They just on YouTube. They don't tell them like what the play and shit like, on Apple. Yeah, Instagram. Instagram be going up. So like, where people can find you on what platforms? Like, you be putting your beats on. You got a free beat a site for free beats? Nah, you got a pricing or a website? Nah, I don't got no website. Uh, if I I just shit, if you want to work, just hit me up in the DM. You know what I'm saying? IG, what up, Louis? You know what I'm saying? Or you hit me on Facebook, what up, Louis? All right, how you spell it? It'll be H A T U P L O U I E. Everything together. That's gas you smoking? Yeah, it's some straight shit. It's some bug, you know. Some good bug. It's some bug. Some good bug. <laughs> How you feel about the gas in the city, man? The gas prices, man. Man, shit. I can't complain. I can't complain, no. I just say enjoy him while they like it. <laughs> yeah, buddy. What about what about the beat prices? Oh, beat prices? Shit, give me a DM. It's working. <laughs> they going up. <laughs> they going up. They definitely going up. They really been up. They really supposed to be up. You feel me? What a little chicken in here, baby.